A group of UTEP students will experience the opportunity of a lifetime. The space miners are headed to NASA's Johnson Space Center. There, they'll test a device they've worked on for months that may one day be used by astronauts themselves. ABC 7's Josie Ortegon, live with more. Josie. Maria, UTEP's group is one of 18 chosen for this exciting project. The students were selected to be part of NASA's Micro-G Next program. It challenges students to work in teams to design and build prototypes of tools to be used by astronauts during spacewalk training. I caught up with them today, and I have to say their work is pretty impressive. By 2020, this device here could be used by NASA astronauts. It's called a float sample grabber, and with adjustments by NASA engineers, it'll collect rock samples from the surface of an asteroid. They're hoping that once they're able to obtain samples or different material from these asteroids, they'll get a lot better understanding of the origins of the actual whole solar system. In January, Esteban, Michael, and Ember, along with several other UTEP students, were given the task by NASA with a strict set of guidelines. Weigh less than 15 pounds. It needs to be able to grab at least three samples from three different sites on, on the actual asteroid, um, all without cross-contamination. They immediately got to work. The biggest challenge was figuring out how to collect materials properly. So we would change it. We would try to different uh, shapes of these jaws, different sizes. But after five months, they had their finished product. A pin screen device with steel rods and a plastic handle. And ours is to obtain the sample and be able to store them so that they could bring them back here to Earth or to the space station. Now is where the real test takes place. They'll test it out at NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Lab. This is video of the 6.2 million gallon indoor pool used to train astronauts spacewalking. Actually test our device in this microgravity environment, see if it, you know, how it works. If successful, the device will be used by astronauts in future training. When they send astronauts to this asteroid, you know, they could definitely use it. Yeah. And it all started right here in Ohio. It all started right here in Utah. <laughs> yeah. The group leaves to Houston on Sunday. We wish them ver the very best of luck. Maria Rick, back to you. <laughs> thank Let's you very much, Josie. Let's hope that creation really takes off, Josie. Thank you.